This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the reactions of the alkanes. Alkanes have low reactivity. This is due to two reasons. The first is the carbon to hydrogen bond is a non polar bond. The second reason is the carbon to carbon and the carbon to hydrogen bonds in the alkane are strong. This can be seen by looking at the average bond enthalpy values, which you can see here. So alkanes have low reactivity for these two reasons. However, they do undergo chemical reactions, which we'll look at next. Alkanes undergo combustion reactions. In a combustion reaction, an alkane such as propane reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. In complete combustion, there is an excess of oxygen and carbon dioxide is produced. In incomplete combustion, there is a lack of oxygen and this produces carbon monoxide. If the amount of oxygen is very limited, then carbon will be produced. So the two kinds of combustion are complete combustion, where there is an excess of oxygen and carbon dioxide is produced, and incomplete combustion, where there is a lack of oxygen forming carbon monoxide or carbon. Alkanes also undergo substitution reactions. Substitution reactions occur in three steps. The first step is initiation. This occurs in the presence of UV light. In the initiation step, a chlorine molecule, which is two chlorine atoms joined with a single covalent bond, breaks up in the presence of UV light to form two chlorine free radicals. Free radicals are species with an unpaired electron. This makes them very reactive. This is known as photochemical homolytic fission. The bond between the chlorine atoms is split by UV light with each chlorine atom taking one electron. The next step is propagation. In the propagation step, methane reacts with a chlorine radical to form a methyl radical and hydrogen chloride. The methyl radical then reacts with molecular chlorine to form chloroethane and another chlorine radical. As free radicals are produced in the propagation step, the reaction is known as a chain reaction. The final step is termination. In the termination step, the free radicals pair up their electrons to form molecules. In the first step, two chlorine radicals react together to form chlorine. In the second step, two methyl radicals react together to form ethane. And in the final step, we have a methyl radical and a chlorine radical reacting together to form chloroethane. And finally, here we have the overall equation for the reaction. So that's methane reacting with chlorine in the presence of UV light to form chloroethane and hydrogen chloride. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.